Amari Cooper expected back, but we're hearing he's still not feeling 100%. They're going to be without their right tackle, uh, Steele, on, that, on the offensive line. And we know they've had a difficult time rushing the football the last four weeks. Ezekiel Elliott dealing with a knee issue. I think we're going to see a lot of Pollard. But I buried the lead because I am wearing... <laughs> the Taysom Hill t-shirt. I love the fact that Taysom Hill is coming in and starting. Also, look at this Saints defense. Defensive coordinator Dennis Allen has had a good track record against Dak in two games he's faced him. Dak's only scored one touchdown, an interception, eight sacks, and only 23 total points. I'm putting my faith in Sean Payton and the offense that he's going to scheme for the Swiss Army Knife. Taysom Hill tonight. So, again, I'm on the Saints, but my favorite play is the under here, Max. Sam, what do you think? But Anita, Anita, we got people's money on the line, Anita. The Saints haven't lost since, haven't won a game since October 25th. Like, I get it, but October 25th, and they've had no bye weeks. That's game after game after game after game. Cowboys got Michael Parsons, the defensive rookie of the month, six and a half sacks last month. I mean, it's people's money on the line, Anita. <laughs> I, I understand that. I'm with but Anita. <laughs> But here, here, here's the thing. You're not looking for the Saints to win the ball game. You're just looking for them to cover. And I think they can cover a plus five and a half, plus six. And again, like I said, my favorite play is the under tonight. Yes, the Saints may be missing offensive linemen. However, in their favor, they have Sean Payton. Well, no, actually, Dallas doesn't have McCarthy. That may favor Dallas. All right, look, <laughs> you always have a full menu of prop bets, Anita. Give us a couple we should be looking at tonight. I do. All week long, we've been hearing about Ezekiel Elliott and his knee issue and how he's going to be on a pitch count. Maybe he'll be on the shelf. So I'm going under total of rushing and receiving total yards for him. I think we're going to see a heavy day dose of Tony Pollard and the Saints defense. They're great against the rush, and they have been for the past two years. Running backs are only averaging under four yards per carry against them. The only team we've seen to rush against them successfully has been the Eagles the last two years. And also my guy Taysom Hill, over 36 and a half rushing yards. Uh, he filled in for Drew Brees last year. He went three and one in those four games. He rushed 39 times. He had four rushing touchdowns. I do expect him to find the end zone as well again tonight. I think that's going to be a big part of the Saints offense is his rushing attack. All right, guys. You, Sam, you have anything to add? I got nothing, man. I'm just saying the Cowboys got a good offense. Saints plus the points. I don't know, but I'm going to stick with you, Anita. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.